Hello YouTubers and welcome back to Go Figure Customs YouTube channel. Coming to you again from the deck of the USS flag uh, with some of my recent customs. Uh, how's everybody doing with the quarantine? Everybody climbing the walls yet? Tell you what, I'm pretty, you know, I wouldn't say antisocial, but I don't do a lot when I'm home on leave and I'm no, nah, I would say I'm ready to go back to work. And I don't like to work a lot, so that says something. However, I've gotten a lot of stuff done since I've been home. You can see, well, not too well, but uh, the carded customs on the wall behind me. I got a ton of my card, kind of ton of my cards printed out, and uh, my customs carded on them. Uh, I finished my eleventh custom since I've been home yesterday, and I'll probably have another two done maybe today, uh, certainly tomorrow at the latest. So uh, that may be more than I did all of last year, which will kind of say how much I've been working on customs. I also started and completed uh, the restoration on a uh, Cobra Mamba, which came out nice and finish the restoration on a on, uh, Cobra Night Raven, which also looks fantastic. Uh, and I'm in the middle of restoring a, <clears throat> what am I working on? A, a US, uh, or a uh, G.I. Joe uh, Killer Whale, um, right in the middle of the polishing the accessories for it. Um, but my main focus is still pretty much customs. And regardless of how many times I post or discuss it, I still think the biggest question I get asked, the most frequent question I get asked is what brand of primer do I use? Because yes, I will. Number one, should I primer my stuff? The answer is yes, you should primer your stuff. What is primer? Again, primer is something that you put that is used to help paint stick to a surface, which when customizing is what we need the paint <coughs> the paint to do is stick to the surface that we're painting right so when i first started i was using krylon engine primer because that's what the guy that got me into customizing was using and that worked for a great number of years many many years until i started to get bad batches of it here and there one can wasn't too bad I was able to deal with it, but I got one particular can that was just completely a bad batch and it ruined a build that I was working on. I had taken a Cobra bug, I gutted it, and I built a interior for it out of styrene. I mean, it had chairs, it had consoles, it had weapons lockers. It was going to be really cool when it got done. And I primered it, getting ready to paint it, and the primer bubbled up. And not even quite bubbled, but it got really grainy uh, to the point where it was it ruined the project. I'm still pretty upset about that. So I stopped using that particular primer, and I went to a brand called Armory, and I used that for since then. Uh, that was probably... When did I switch to Armory full-time? Because I used it on and off when I first started, but kept going back to the Krylon Engine Primer. Mm, probably when I was, let's see, probably about 10 years ago. Uh, maybe not that far back. Eight years. We'll say about eight years is when I switched full-time to Armory Primer. And it gave great results. So what happened to that? It was discontinued. I can't get it anymore. I bought the last can from my hobby store and went through that pretty quickly. So I have been on the hunt for a new primer. Uh, <clears throat> I My first can that I got to test was from Tamaya. Uh, I love their, their acrylic paints in the jars. They have a fantastic range of colors. They have uh, clear paints, 
clear colors, which are fantastic for uh, different types of projects. So like a clear red, clear orange, clear yellow, clear blue. They go great on top of um, other colors to help bring them out and kind of give a glossy wet look. Uh, I just finished my uh, combat dive gear Baroness and I used the clear, Tamaya clear on her uh, wetsuit to give it a wet look. And it also seals it really, really well. Um, and so I decided to try their, their and their aerosol paints are really nice too. Uh, they also have a, 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 a separate line, not separate line, but a sub line of clear aerosol paints too, which is what I used uh, on the canopies for my Seeker Customs. You can't quite see them. They're just off frame to my right. Um, so I decided to, to try their stuff first. Uh, it comes in a 180 milliliter can, which is not particularly big. And I threw away the can already because I've already gone through it all. Uh, and I should have, I was going to do all this for science, right? So I, I should have recorded how many figures that I primed with it, but I didn't. Um, it gives a very, I kind of liked it and I kind of didn't at first because it gives a very, um, almost a glossy coat, whereas the Armory Primer gave more of a kind of a matte coat, more of a kind of a, I kind of a, likened it to a, a canvas. So I used to uh, paint on canvases when I was in high school. Um, so it, that's where I learned to paint. So it, it was kind of reminiscent of that, um, which is one of the reasons I, I use primer is to take the glossy surface off of an action figure. Because if you've ever tried to paint a figure that isn't primered and you try and paint it and the paint just water gets watery and smears and you can't get that paint to coat, that's where primer comes in. And I was afraid it was going to do that because it was such a, uh, a glossy coat, but it actually worked pretty well. The only downside to this was it's 11 bucks a can. If you're in the United States, 180 milliliters doesn't mean shit to you like it doesn't mean to me. Let's just say it's not a lot. So 11 bucks for one can of this stuff is like pretty pricey to me because I don't remember what I was paying for the armory stuff, but it wasn't very expensive. I think it was yeah, I don't I couldn't even tell you what I what I what I paid for it, that stuff. Uh and I do have the I did go through it. I did like it. Uh, I was using the Tamaya Fine Primer. I think uh, I just did a search on it to because I wasn't sure how much was in a can. I did a search on it online, and it looks like they do have a couple different uh, types of primer. But I'm using the Fine Primer um, specifically because I do, well, specifically because it's what they had in stock. So that's what I picked up. But uh, I think... If I was going to use it again, and I probably will, um, I do clearly a lot of fine detail work on my stuff. So a fine detail primer is actually really what I want. Um, <clears throat> my hobby store recommended a new brand of paints to me as well. And it's called the Army, um, the Army Paint, the Army Paint War Paint. Uh, they're kind of, they come in a little uh, dropper bottle like Vallejo paints. Um, so far, I like the paints, but they also recommended the primer. And I have the can of primer here behind me. Oh. So here's the can of primer. Um, let's see how much is in here. Because I, I started, I put a piece of duct tape on here and I started recording how many figures I've primed with it. So 400 milliliters compared to 180 milliliters. 17 bucks for a can of this stuff. I think that's a little steep for me um, for what it is for pretty much anything, honestly. Uh, and I don't like this stuff. Uh, I, I really, I don't like this stuff. It's really pissing me off. You will see that the there is no nozzle on it right now. The nozzle is in a cup soaking in simple green to help unclog it. 
So number one, that's a huge problem. I can't spray anything right now because the nozzle is clogged up. So I'm hoping that gets cleaned up just by soaking in some simple green. Uh, the first figure that I primed, uh, you've got to be pretty particular on how far away you are from your custom for some reason. You've got to be at least 20 centimeters back. Uh, otherwise, the primer, the way it coats and the way it lays, it doesn't dry. It gets very tacky. If you've ever tried to paint figures with enamel paint, and then afterwards it, it doesn't ever seem to dry, it's still tacky to the touch, this is what the primer does. This is very reminiscent of the first time that I started customizing and I bought enamel paints because I didn't know what I was doing and my, my customs wouldn't dry. So I figured out that it needed to be back further and in heavier coats. And I've been able to get it to work until the nozzle started clogging up. And now it's given me irregular coats. Stuff still doesn't seem to dry on softer plastics. So the harder plastics, it's it's not bad. It gives a, a dark, dark gray, which I was kind of concerned about because I like uh, what the armory would give me was a very light gray. And then the uh, Tamaya was kind of giving me a medium gray, and this gives me a very dark gray. I don't, I don't want too dark underneath something that's I'm going to paint a lighter color. <clears throat> so I'm not, but it 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 doesn't bleed through the paint. The paint covers covers well enough that it's not a problem, thankfully. Um, but the I've had a bunch of these bunch of these figures. They've not they've not dried. Um, the the primer has not dried on some of the stuff. Luckily, after I paint, they do seem to to not be as tacky. Uh, like Mutt, uh, I I painted him, uh, primered him with this stuff. He seems to be all right. Uh, Big Ben, he's dry. There's he's not tacky at all. And this is definitely like a softer plastic. Uh, it's the satchel from Rotter. It is still just a little tacky. It's not too bad. But it's, you can kind of tell. And then this is my crystal ball. Uh, pretty much all the boss fight parts are very hard plastic. Um, and it's not tacky. Uh, the coat's kind of soft. And there's... There's maybe a spot here and there where you can kind of feel maybe a little tackiness to it, but it's not too bad. Um, but I wouldn't recommend this primer to, um, I think it's, I think it's more along the lines for people that are doing, um, gaming miniatures. I think it would be just fine for that because those are either metal or, or very, very hard resin plastic. So for gaming miniatures, I think you're gonna be okay with this stuff if, if that's what you paint. Uh, if you're doing action figures like I do, and you're using different types of plastic, especially stuff that's flexible, like vests, uh, leashes here, hoses, belts, anything like that, soft plastic, it might not, get fully dry on it, and that's really annoying. Um, I'm not sure what other primers my hobby store has. Um, chances are, once I find something that I like, I'm probably going to stick with it. Um, so, 11 bucks for a 180, 180 milliliter can is probably steeper than what this is, like price per ounce or price per milliliter. Now that we're using the metric system for this, for what odd reason. Um, but uh, I probably will stick with the Tamaya primer, fine Tamaya fine primer for now. Um, so that's that's the answer to the question that I get asked most frequently: is what is should I prime? Absolutely. Uh, what primer should I use? I use Tamaya Fine Primer. Um, I got a, a buddy of mine, uh, his name, he goes by Tankster. Uh, his name's Daniel. He does fantastic, uh, 
fantastic customs. He's got several different types that he does. Uh, makes huge, amazing mechs and spider tanks and does amazing uh, Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles customs. And he uses an etching primer. Uh, I don't remember what brand he uses, but I kind of like the idea of an etching primer. That means it would kind of eat into the plastic a little bit, so it would not chip or would not chip off. So I may try and try what he's using and see what results I get with that. But barring that, I'll probably like right now this this I, I've probably haven't even used half of the can yet. Uh, and I think I've gotten seven figures primered with it so far, but man, I don't, I don't think I'm going to finish this stuff off unless I, if I can get the nozzle clog unclogged, but, uh, and I can't get to the hobby store cause we're under lockdown. So all non-essential businesses are closed. So I can't get more primer from my hobby store. So I'm going to see if I can order it online. If I can, I'm not too worried about it. If I can get some more Tamaya, this stuff's going in the garbage. So, hopefully that will answer your question. Answer the question, number one, should I prime? Yes. And what primer should I use? Right now, I like Tamaya. Thanks for watching. Hopefully that uh, answers some questions for you. Please like, share, subscribe, all that social media stuff. And uh, also wanted to say uh, thank you to everybody that watched our first video podcast of General Geekery. Uh, we've been doing that podcast off and on for probably about eight years now. Um, and we decided to kind of up our game a little bit because we're pretty proud of the fact that we're technologically ignorant, but, uh, we thought we'd, uh, up it with a, uh, video podcast and, uh, the YouTube channel is a perfect platform for that. Um, <clears throat> so hopefully, um, we can do more of what we were doing previously. Uh, we had lots of guests on, we had, uh, uh, author that writes Star Trek books came on, Star Wars books was on, uh, one of our shows. Uh, people that are doing Kickstarters, we always have them on the, sh on the show to help plug their Kickstarters. We're always happy to help those that are trying to get a start in the, in this, um, in the toy industry. Um, and customizers, we like to have our favorite customizers on. So we're going to try and, uh, see if we can do that, uh, get our video podcast up and running for everybody. Uh, cause that'll give you something to watch. And keep you entertained in these hard times. So until then, again, like, share, subscribe, and comment. Ask questions. Always happy to answer questions. And stay safe. And we'll see you next time.